Welcome to Bear Island off the west coast of Canada. This place is part of what's called the Great Bear Rainforest, a rich and vibrant home to some beautiful creatures. To meet the bears that live here, you gotta head up river. But if you want, you can hang tight on the coastline and try a little whale watching first. Many folks reckon this is one of the very best places to see humpback whales. The deep waters around the island mean they come right to the shoreline. They work as a team, trapping great big shoals of herring against the coastal shelf, driving them up to the surface. And then they swallow the whole lot. All right, I guess it's time to go meet some bears, hmm? This young girl is known as Swift. And like all black bears at this time of year, she's got one thing on her mind, to catch herself some fish. She needs to fatten up ready for the cold winter ahead. But this year, very few salmon have returned to spawn. To make things trickier for Swift, there's a local pack of wolves that lurk in the shadows, and they'll be getting hungry too. So much so, they could start hunting bears. It's a dangerous time for our Swift. Of course, she's not the only bear here. This is Brutus, an old belligerent bear who controls the best fishing spot on the island, the rapids. When salmon swim through these parts, they struggle against the current, making them easy to catch. And old Brutus is a bully, fighting off any bear that comes near the rapids. Swift has got to find herself some salmon, that's for sure. But she can't stay here, not with old Brutus around. So which way should she go? Downstream or upstream? It's still early in the salmon season, and very few fish have reached the upper reaches of the river. Swift, so desperate for food, She's picking at old fish carcasses left by Brutus. The fat rich eggs and brain have already been gobbled up, but at least there's some meat left for young Swift. Dead salmon are actually a vital ingredient on Bear Island. As they rot, all the goodness oozes out into the ecosystem and feeds the forest from the roots up. But leftovers aren't enough for our Swift. She's got to keep searching for that perfect fishing spot. Now this is a whole lot better. The water's nice and shallow, making it real easy to catch salmon. But unknown to Swift, there are other bears here too. A mother and her young cub fish along this stretch of the river. This isn't such a good thing. Mother bears can be extremely territorial, because they got to find food for themselves and their cub. While the youngster keeps safe up a tree, mum's free to go fishing. Our Swift is so transfixed on the salmon, she has no idea the other bears are here. And as she blunders down river, the protective mother bear is ready to teach her some manners. <laughs> Swift 
Swift can't stay here. And old Brutus still controls the rapids. She's running out of options. To make things worse, the wolves sound like they're closer than ever before. And there's a storm approaching. As much as three meters of rain can fall here each year. But there is some hope. All the rain causes the river to swell, making it easier for the salmon to push on upriver. It's time for Swift to try another part of the river. Which way should she go? Upstream or downstream? It's your choice. <laughs> downstream, there's a new character searching for a fishing spot. This is what you call a spirit bear, a rare kind of black bear. She's not an albino. She just has a different hair color. But if she's on the river, it means there's one less fishing spot for our swift. And she can't afford to lose out. Not again. So Swift strides upstream towards the spirit bear and stakes her claim. She's earned this fishing spot, but it's short-lived. The wolves seem to be following her trail, and they're close. Swift needs to hide. Under the cover of darkness, a harrowing sound bleeds across the island. The wolves are on the hunt, and they've cornered a bear. Somehow, young Swift escaped the wolf pack. She seems a bit shaken, but at least she's alive. But what about Brutus? Brutus is nowhere in sight. And that leaves the rapids empty. And all that rain has finally let the salmon migrate upstream in big numbers. It's a golden opportunity for Swift to move in and take control of the best fishing spot on the island. The rapids are hers. She can now get ready for winter and catch salmon until her belly is full. <laughs> 